All right, so today I will be discussing a shocking topic known as electric currents. All right. So what is an electric current? Well, what is causing this man's strange reaction? Hmm. Oh, it must be electric currents. So the definition of electric current can be defined as the current through a region of space is equal to the amount of charge that passes by a given area and amount of time. So current equals flow of charge. And we have A here, which represents area, which is this right here. We have our wire, and then we have our charges, Qs. Now, current can be defined as the amount of Qs, or charge, that pass by this area in a certain amount of time. So if we have more Qs pass by, we have a higher current. Now, the equation for current is I equals delta Q over delta T, which means current equals the change in charge over the change in time in a given amount of area. Now charges, um, excuse me, current is measured in amps or ampere, and here we see that the symbol for amps is A, and uppercase A, and 1A is equal to 1 coulomb per second. So I have a question here. Given our definition we have given you, which has a higher current? Is it square red or blue square? Now, it's pretty easy. It's got to be square red, right? Because we have several positive charges flowing all in one direction. Uh, and, um, more amount of charges than we have down here in blue which is only two positive charges and one negative charge which actually will cancel out our positive charge now we're going to watch as a wonderful experiment of how currents happens this is from the youtube channel Alright, to make this you're going to need some vinegar, an uh, ice cube tray, some galvanized nails, copper wire, and an LED light. Then you're going to take your copper wire and wrap it around your nail. And you want to leave kind of a tail, um, a little bit of copper wire out. And when you put it in the ice cube tray, you want that um, little tail end of the copper wire to go into the next um, well of the ice cube tray, so into the next little ice cube piece. So once you have all of that, you just keep doing that, and once they're all filled in, you pour the vinegar into each well of the ice cube tray, and that is what is going to create your circuit. Then all you do is you put your LED light in, and it should turn on. And here you can see the light a little bit better. Pretty cool, right? So that's pretty cool. As we see here, that vinegar can act as a battery or a current itself because um, vinegar can break down into um, different chemicals and it's a good acid, so this allows for it to become an electrolyte and this allows it to allow for the electrons to become a current and pass through each of the copper wires go through and this current that is circling around um, the wires and the nails and the light turns on the light and that's a pretty fancy experiment that you can do at home to create a current for yourself so it is important to note the flow of current. So current flows in the direction opposite 
of the electron flow. So if we're looking at this diagram right here where we have our battery which, and we have a resistor, which way is the current going to flow? The current is going to flow in the way the positive, away from the positive towards the negative because we have electrons that are flowing this way because they want to meet our positive end right here. Therefore, this greatly shows that our current is opposite of electron flow. So current goes this way, electron goes this way. Now, what's great about current is it helps us to complete Ohm's law. With Ohm's law, we are able to define voltage. And voltage is current times by resistance. Now, this is a linear relationship. As we increase the current, we also increase the voltage. If we increase resistance, we increase the voltage. If we decrease one, we decrease the voltage. So as we increase current, as again measured in amps, A, we get more volts, V. Now, this presentation was brought to you by lectures five and six of Dr. Dennis Delia Cortes, lesson and from the College Physics OpenStax book published in 2012. Thank you.